right now. Family, friends, and fellow Chicago police officers are paying tribute to Officer Ariana Preston. She was shot and killed in May, just days before graduation from Loyola University. Tonight, Officer Preston's name has been added to the memorial wall right next to the names of other fallen Chicago police officers. NBC 5's Natalie Martinez live tonight at the Gold Star Families Memorial near Soldier Field. Natalie. Yes, Stefan, it was emotional. They just wrapped up the 430 ceremony. That was specifically for Ariana Preston and the wall uh, presentation. As you had mentioned, I spoke with Ariana's mom and she told me it was extremely emotional for her as well. The Chicago Police Memorial Foundation joined dozens this afternoon to pay tribute to fallen Chicago police officer Ariana Preston by unveiling her name on the memorial wall at Gold Star Families Memorial and Park just east of Soldier Field. Now in the very early morning hours, you will call on May 6th, Officer Preston, a two-year CPD veteran, was returning home after her shift. A group of armed gunmen tried to rob her. She protected herself with her weapon and exchanged gunfire, but she was killed. Officer Preston's family and friends to join police and supporters here of the Chicago Police Memorial Fund, sharing fond memories of the brave officer who was only 24 years old when she died. Officer Preston was just 24 years old when her life was senselessly taken. However, it's not how these officers died that made them heroes, it's how they lived. Make no mistake, Officer Ariana Preston lived with courage and determination in all aspects of her life. She was bold and brave, a shining star who invested in our city and left an indelible mark on all of our hearts. So take a look at what's just developed within the past several minutes just east of Soldier Field and within it officers are holding posters with images of hundreds of fallen officers. We are just outside this so-called sacrifice area of the park. It's right beside the water wall and the mayor is expected to attend the 20th annual candlelight vigil that's happening later tonight 730. That's naming 600 police officers who have fallen. That's in a solemn ceremony. Another one, that vigil begins at 730 and there's a reception going on right now. We will be here and we will bring it to you tonight at 10 o'clock. For now, we are just outside the water wall, just east of Soldier Field. Natalie Martinez, NBC5 News. Important, we never forget the sacrifice they made for us and the sacrifice their families made as well. Thank you, Natalie.